hello everyone welcome to our channel bio skill circle and in this video we are going to discuss the process of spermatogenesis in detail first what is spermatogenesis Spermatogenesis is the formation of haploid, microscopic and functional male gametes that is spermatozoa from the diploid reproductive cells called spermatogonia present in the testes of male organisms. So you can see here that it is the formation of the spermatozoa from the spermatogonia. Now it is starts only at puberty in human males and it is a continuous process and is completed in 74 days now we'll talk about its mechanism now you can see here that spermatogenesis can be divided into two parts first is permitted formation and second is permeogenesis now this permitted formation can be subdivided into three phases multiplicative phase growth phase and maturation phase so this process actually occurs in seminiferous tubules and these tubules are lined by germinal epithelium the germ cell is going to enter the mitosis here right so you can see here that this particular primary or primordial germ cell will enter the first phase that is multiplicative phase this multiplicative phase is also called mitotic phase because you can see here mitosis is occurring here so the germ cell is going to enter the first phase of spermatogenesis that is multiplicative or mitotic phase primary germ cell or primordial germ cell undergoes mitosis to form two cells now these cells they are diploid these cells divide further to form more diploid cells these round diploid cells are called spermother cells or spermatogonia now these spermatogonia are of two types type a and type b so the Type A spermatogonia act as stem cells. These cells will only undergo multiplication to form more spermatogonia. And this is the reason that the human males, they never undergo the process of menopause. Now type B spermatogonia will enter the next phase that is growth phase. So if these are spermatogonia uh, type A and this is type B spermatogonia, right? So these are type A spermatogonia, this is type this is type B spermatogonia. So the type B spermatogonia will enter the next phase that is growth phase. Say this one, it enters the growth phase that is the, uh, in this phase, spermatogonium will increase in size you can see the uh, you can see that this is the smaller cell and this is the larger cell so this phase is characterized by spermatocytogenesis uh, in which a diploid spermatogonium increases in size by the accumulation of nutritive materials please note here that these nutritive materials they are not derived from the they are not synthesized by the cell but they are derived from the germ cells so these nutritive materials they are not synthesized by the cell but they are derived from the germ cells right so the this cell is now called the primary spermatocyte and this is diploid right because of the growth it is a larger cell and there is no change in genetic makeup right this is also diploid and this is also diploid now this cell enters the next phase that is the maturation phase this is also called meiotic phase why because meiosis is occurring here you can see meiosis is occurring here that is why this phase is also called meiotic phase right so the now 
now the cell enters the next phase that is maturation phase or meiotic phase this phase is characterized by meiosis right the diploid primary spermatocyte this is diploid so the diploid primary spermatocyte undergoes meiosis 1 that is also called heterotypical division and forms two haploid secondary spermatocyte right so the secondary spermatocyte is haploid why because meiosis 1 is reductional division it will reduce the number of chromosomes to half here so that is why secondary spermatocyte is haploid and primary spermatocyte you can see is first diploid and after undergoing meiosis 1 it will get converted into a haploid cell right now it is immediately followed by meiosis 2 that is equational division or homotypical division and it will form two haploid it will form two haploid spermatids right so each spermatid contains 23 chromosomes primary spermatocytes it contains 46 chromosomes secondary spermatocytes contains 23 chromosome and spermatid also contains 23 chromosomes so each diploid each diploid spermatogonium produces four haploid spermatids so now the next phase that is next a part is the spermiogenesis now this spermatid it will get transformed to spermatozoa right so what is spermiogenesis then the transformation of non-motile right the transformation of non-motile rounded and haploid spermatid into a functional motile spermatozoan is called spermiogenesis and the main aim is to increase the sperm motility by reducing weight and development of locomotory structure so if you like this video please hit the uh, like button share this video and do subscribe our channel thank you